The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same I'm, fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. Scotty, mm. from the bottom of my heart, get bent, you dickweed. <laughs> and also another excellent stand-up comedian. He now does his own show at Vorshay's Lounge on Monday nights. Mm-hmm. He is none other than Mr. Steve Peters. Hello, listeners. Also known as Jim Gaffigan. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, just don't watch Every the show. Every once in a while, it doesn't. Uh, He'll yeah. start talking about cake, <laughs> yeah. and we'll be... We'll be exactly. fine. Just every fucking day. I just get a message after you're on the show. He sounds just like Jim Gaffigan. Like, no <laughs> shit. That's why yeah. he's on the show. You know? That's way better That's... than most of the fucking messages we get. Yeah, that is true. But no. Can, can I address that right off the bat? Sure. Wednesday is when the fucking show, the next one's coming out. As every fucking Wednesday for three and a half fucking years, there is no need to message us and ask us when's the next podcast come out. Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of, sort of. That's uh, That's been that way for a long time. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, speaking of episodes, <laughs> we've got a lot to, to go over. we got some sports to talk about. Mm-hmm. Real shit, horse shit, wrong answers. I heard a lot of people like that one. We're going to do bad nice. advice with uh, Jeremy. Uh, overrated or underrated and some questions, perguntas, as long with a draft. This one's going to be a little little fruity this week. Uh, but uh, then we also have a shitty situation. But before we Should do that. Should have been fruity last week. Uh, it was, uh, was kind of fruity. We were like a bowl of pebbles. That's right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. JV on the show. Maybe some loops, you know. Had some fruit loops on the show. Okay, now you're getting out of hand. Scotty. Okay, fine. <laughs> Bring it back a notch. Okay, fine. Uh, but now we get to go over our week. We call this our week, week recap. And as always, we always start off with our guests. Hey, Steve, how's the show been going, dude? Dude, it's amazing. Yeah. What show? Uh, it is called The Almost Late Show. It is every Monday at 7.30 at Vorshay's Cocktail Lounge. Do just, I know where uh, this is? Have I been there? Yeah, you've been there. I think October, uh, what, 22nd? I wasn't yes, there October 22nd. Here. It hasn't happened yet. I right. know, but you will be there, I, I think. I'm... I'm waffling on that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to show or not. <laughs> I, I got something going on that day. Yeah. That's my you. dog's Me birthday. It, Me too. Is it really? It is. Oh, okay. Well. My dog will be 16 if he makes it. He's not doing so good. <laughs> oh, that's, that's all right. That's, that's a long. It, that's a long life. Poor pup. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So too anyway, long, we if do, I could uh, say so. Mm. Too fucking long. Yeah. We do that uh, every Monday at Vorshay's, and we just purchased, uh, what was it, $8,000 worth of cameras. Holy so shit. It will be going live here very, very soon. Nice. Yeah. You yeah. going to start shooting pornos in the meantime to pay for it? Or? I think so. Nice. Uh, nice. My OnlyFans is not doing well, <laughs> so we can You know why? Do something <laughs> not better. enough cameras. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Anybody who knows yeah. anything about OnlyFans, you need more cameras. Right. Yeah, I smash cupcakes with my balls. That's my whole. <laughs> that's my whole that's only your fan. Whole, you you want to you want <laughs> you want at least a three camera shoot like an old yeah. time sitcom. Yeah, yeah. Bolly cakes is what it's called. It's uh, I don't know. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's only three dollars a month. Not but, bad. Uh, nobody. I have one subscriber. It was custom S, design. S. German. <laughs> but uh, but other than that, who's he, that? He lurks in the corner in the uh, shadows. Yeah. Yeah. So. How's uh, how's writing the show, man? Uh, Dude, every 
fucking Monday, I have to write a new five to ten minute monologue. Uh -huh. First of all, I hate the news, and now I have to fucking read and watch the news constantly yeah. to make jokes about well, the news. Well, as long as you stick to the cable networks, you get the straight dope, no slant. That's they just true. tell you exactly, and then you can yeah. put whatever spin on it you want. Yeah, I, I figured CNN or Fox would be the right way to go because <laughs> either one, they're no basically bias, the same no fucking bias. thing. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, no bias whatsoever. Uh -uh. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty good. I. I have been having a lot of fun. I got to have Mo Alexander on last night. Yep, I saw that. Uh, we always have a comic. Or, well, we don't always have a comic. No, we you had a have, fucking magician one time. We did. Yeah. We, uh, but we always have a musical guest. Okay, and then we always have a guest. So this is yeah. a this is a this is not a stand up show. It's a late second. night style TV show that is uncensored, unedited, and anything goes. And you're going to put this on the internet? I'm going to do that. Where they I heavily like censor the things? Yeah, I feel huh. like that's the best place to put it. Uh, we would never do that. We'd never Instagram. go on the interwebs. No. Not Instagram unless you're uh, Tommy Lee. That's yeah. the only guy that puts fun stuff on Instagram. <laughs> sure. And gets away with it. Yeah. For, it's for, for a few minutes. It's for a couple. Yeah, I, thought, <laughs> I thought Instagram allowed no. some adult no. stuff. No? Britney, I mean, Britney what am Spears I thinking is of? Trying. Britney Spears is definitely trying. Uh, TikTok. Uh, I mean, it's so it, it cracks me up so much how, like, TikTok it allows beer. Uh, TikTok allows, like, chicks legitimately half naked, showing every single mm -hmm. square inch of their body except for the hole in the tits. And it's mm -hmm. like, uh, no, that's totally fine. But you can't make a joke about Jewish people. That's fucking awful. It's like Jewish people laugh Because there's their nothing jokes. funny about those fucking people. They're <laughs> and sad the and tragic, part, everything worst, about them. Look at my nose. I'm is, Jewish. Uh, Jesus. Eh, I don't know about that. The worst yeah. part of it is you can't I wish. Even, that would make you interesting. You okay. can't even throw a flashbang outside your kid's door <laughs> without your fucking video getting take down, <laughs> taken down off of uh, TikTok. That's so. utterly ridiculous, by the way. I know. That's so I awful. Know. Anything I make else? my own flashbangs out yeah. of uh, photo strobes and black cats. Yeah. Nice. Yes. I've got uh, I've got a lot of stand up coming up. Oh, I'm opening uh I'm doing a stand up show to open Bonkers Comedy Club at the Gold Strike Casino in Tunica, Mississippi, September. 6th. Nice. Casino. Oh, yeah. Wow. Moving up. And I've yeah. got uh Getting them nickel slots. Oh, oh, I'm producing a show for Adam Murray. He is a recurring character in Stranger Things 4. Nice. Uh we have a sold out theater show Thursday. Or nice. no, Friday. This coming Friday. Which, uh, which Aiken, character is South he? Carolina. He is angry townsperson. Oh, that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you actually know who that is? I have is? no idea. <laughs> I, I, I have no think, clue. I think I do, <laughs> okay. actually. He's, uh, he's a tall he guy, was the guy real who, curly hair. Real good hat. disposition. He yeah. was in the town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's that guy. Kind of perturbed. So, yeah, a little angry. <laughs> that fella? Yeah, okay, yeah. I, yeah. He was the angry one. Yeah, that's the guy. But he wore a South Aiken High t-shirt that uh, people in Aiken, South Carolina saw in the show and went fucking ballistic over it. So now we've sold out a theater. I, <laughs> nice. We're doing comedy. There. I hope like so. hell that their mascot are the balls. Yeah. The I think Aiken they're balls. the Mustangs. Uh, I think. Eh, they should be the balls. They should be I balls. agree. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, oh, is that it? Is that all you got? And I can get into it my seems like a lot my mm. my depressive state of the my life. For you the know last what I came up with three I weeks. Can't wait to Here's hear how shitty your life is. Yeah. You know how the uh, everybody's putting on the internet. She's a ten. But oh yeah, blah, totally. yeah, we blah, did blah. that. We did that. Yeah. yeah, she's a ten, but you married her and she bitches at you all the time. <laughs> Sounds like that's, that's something. The only one I could come up with. That's that's coming, standard. It's coming that's from your standard. heart. Yeah, yeah. No, it's pretty no, much it's expected. Just, it's a it's a piece of my life. Yeah. Uh, anyway. But no, so the depressive state of my life, uh, I, I said last week about what happened to my basement and had yeah. video footage in that shit, by the way. You can go check yeah. that out. Yeah. Did you put that up with you and no shirt on? No, I cut that part. Oh, that was okay. especially for you and you yeah. only. So That, I that was that my out. really only response to that <laughs> video with water just spewing into your basement. <laughs> what happened to your fucking shirt? Right. That was it. Yep. Uh, but no, uh, the good the good news is is after a week of not having any water on Monday, a, a plumbing company came out to the house and fixed said issue. Nice. Uh, but before they could fix it, the uh, water main going into my house just so happens to be directly under my deck about five feet, mm -hmm. to which you cannot actually fit an excavator back there without taking the entire fucking deck apart, which I did not want to want to do or for them to do. So I decided, hey, I can save a shitload of money on my bill if 
we dig the hole ourselves. So on a Sunday, me and uh, one of my best friends, uh, we call his name is Steve too. We call him Steve Eaters, so that way we can just dis- you know. Oh, reduce. oh, that's nice. Yeah, reduce. Okay. Yeah. He yeah. he he uh, he uh, does uh, eating competitions and actually wins. It's kind of impressive. Yeah, I don't think his last Sweet. name is actually Eaters. Oh, it? it's definitely not. No. Okay. Um, but be he be fucking <laughs> awesome if it was, and he sucked at the eating <laughs> competitions. That's yeah. The uh, the hole that we had to dig was, like I said, five feet down. And if you know me very well, you know that I am not a tall individual. I was going to say, that'd be taller than you. So for a majority of it, he had to be the one digging because I could not lift the shovel full of dirt over my head and put it into the wheelbarrow. <laughs> sheet rocking stilts, dude. You wear those down <laughs> there. Have you ever Christ. dug a hole with sheet rocking stilts? It's so easy. I'm sure oh, it is. It's very easy, yeah. it, it was an absolute pain in the dick, but it saved a shitload of money uh, that I was going to have to pay at the mercy but i called them up and i said listen i know how to rip up a deck and i know how to dig a fucking hole so yeah. that's what i'm gonna do so that was my uh my sunday and now we have running water you did that on it the was, lord's day i did oh, i did wow. it on the he sabbath doesn't, he didn't like that yeah against my jewish uh my jewish heritage and uh what they tell I you the not sabbath to do. was on saturday yeah maybe you're right I don't fucking know. Or wait, I'm no. so glad you knew better than to ask me What's to help. Because um, <laughs> that would have been an awkward phone call of me telling you no and then just having to tell you because I don't want to. No, I, no. And that was the coolest thing. I actually got uh, offered help. Uh, and that's why I didn't call you, Jeremy. And I know you wouldn't want to. I know Steve wouldn't want to. I knew who the fuck Derek. would want to? Oh, my, Honestly, even my the guy who helped you wouldn't want up. to. Yeah. I couldn't have. yeah, exactly. So, no. But See, I, you I, came up with a reason. My reason would just be because I don't want to. I legitimately was going to do it all myself. <laughs> I was was going to try to do it, but I got offered help from my brother and uh, Steve, and so uh, my brother was going to come over, but we knocked it out in like four or five hours, and so there was no point in him coming over. But you really forget how well you have it with running fucking water. I... uh when, it, when you don't have running water, you don't you can't go to the bathroom in your own house. So whenever you were leaving public places, you were like, holy shit, do I have to go to the bathroom? Because if I do, or if I might, I need to go now because I can't go when I go home. You can't wash your hands. You can't cook certain things. You can't boil pasta. You got nothing. All you got to do is have everything with bottled water, and that's what we've been living off of. I hate to be that guy, <laughs> Scotty, but yes, you can go to the bathroom. You just can't use anything in there. Right. You can go there that's all a, the fucking that's time. A, that's go a very cool out, story, but I just looked it up, and Shabbat is on Saturday. Oh, okay. Well, oh, well. Sabbath. Well, I don't, I, know. That, I don't know. But uh, so I, had, I have been taking showers over at my brother's house for the last week, which... Um, has it was actually kind of fun. It was probably I've the seen most seen that on you porn. Yeah, <laughs> not with him <laughs> oh. at his house. No, oh. uh, which means I got to spend every night uh, over there talking and chit chatting with him. Uh, which is nice. it's, yeah, it's a positive thing to look for. So we had a lot, a lot of fun. He's been on the show before. Yeah, um, and uh, a lot of fun guy. Uh, but but yeah, uh, the, to top off my week, uh, I actually did listen to the podcast that Jeremy so graciously suggested us to us last week. It was, did you uh, listen to the episode? Oh, fuck yeah, I did. What was uh, that may be the most disturbing uh-huh. fucking human being on planet Earth. Well, His not name, anymore. Uh, no, he's dead now. Yeah. Uh, hey. He's a serial killer from the late uh, 1800s to early 1900s. 30s, 30s I think, was uh, when that's he died. That's when he executed. died. Um, when he was fucking killed, his name is Albert Fish, or was oh my Albert Fish? God, it's and and Dan Cummins does a pretty good job throughout the episode. He kind of does a, a voice he, of he like, makes <laughs> things so fucking interesting. <laughs> it does. He, he is a storyteller, kind of like I am. He's great. He is fucking great, and he does his research so good. Yes, he does. Uh, but no, it was a great episode. But my God, that man is fucked up. Uh-huh. Albert Fish, go look him up. Jesus Christ. Um, but I guess I will say this on Saturday, I did go to the wind surge game and, uh, they were doing a fundraiser for the Schweckheimer foundation. And so they were putting certain Fucking people. Schweckheimer. Yeah. Um, Lou Schweckheimer is, uh, the, oh, uh, yeah, he's yeah, the, yeah, he's yeah, basically yeah. the reason why we have the baseball team. Oh, in that Wichita. Schweckheimer. I thought yeah. you were talking about the other Schweckheimers. No, no. So There's so many Schweckheimers. There are a bunch of them, but it's a, it's a really good foundation for like, um, uh, I believe it's uh, like Dominican Republic baseball, uh, kind of a thing. And I, you look look into it, but they raised a shitload of money, and Bob raised the most, and I sunk his ass in that dunk, dunk tank. <laughs> oh, I saw that. I it saw took that being me. Advertised. It yeah. took me five tries, but I got him. So nice. That's all that matters. But that was my week. Did did you provide the water for that dunk tank? No, you I had. Sh- some. I sure did not. I mean, not out of the pipes, yeah. but no, I filled yeah. that fucking dunk tank up with water bottles. Jesus Christ. Nice. Uh, but how was that your week? Expensive. It was. How about you, Jeremy? How was your week? 
way better than yours. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, That's not that hard. Actually, we were, uh, I'm going to say shortly after we left here on Tuesday, Tuesday night, uh, I started getting, my legs started like getting really, really tight and tense. Really? And by Wednesday, I think it was, I, I could barely walk. Wow. And so Thursday, uh, I took the day off of work, and I went on down to see our good buddy Matt down there at iCryo. Uh-huh. And I got me some therapy done. Uh, they started off with the uh, compression therapy, uh-huh. which is pretty cool. You just sit there for an hour in a fucking chair, and they put these things on your legs that are like big, long blood pressure cuffs uh-huh. that just keep squeezing and releasing on your legs. It milks the lymphatic fluid out of your out of your muscles and My, then that's that's pleasant it, it it was it was very pleasant <laughs> yeah, it was can you put that thing on your wiener <laughs> yes yes that'd be awesome hey it wouldn't do any good they're very large um that'd work for me <laughs> sure it would and then after that i uh i went into the freeze chamber yeah Whew! <laughs> pretty cold wow <laughs> wow <laughs> Uh, they do a, a, a body temperature check on you before mm-hmm. you go in and then after you come out and my surface body temperature lowered 35 degrees in, in three minutes. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I went from like 97 to whatever 35 minus that is. I have an Asian <laughs> home for that. 62. Yeah. yeah. And, um, what's weird is you're in there for three minutes. They give you, they've, they've got this, uh, like music system hooked up to, I guess, Spotify or something, but you can take a, a Bluetooth speaker in there with you for, you know, three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found that to be humorous, but I'm not shitting you by the next day. I was back on the elliptical machine. No shit. Yeah. Wow. It, it really did wonder. So Man. I... I, I would have guessed leg anybody. cancer. Was it just sore muscles? Wow. It might be some leg cancer. I don't know. Yeah, just carcinoma, th- melanoma, anoma of some sort. Yeah, just yeah. the other day, uh, I, I got a leg cramp. Cancer, I got a leg cramp after jacking off. It was absolutely crazy. I tried. I stood up afterwards, and I'm no I, my kidding. left leg. Yeah, dude, it's still kind of sore. Was it more like a Charlie horse or a calf or? No, it was my thigh. In the thigh itself, yeah, you know, okay. You know, when, you, when you're coming, <laughs> your legs go like that. And I don't know. I don't ever come. <laughs> that's that's uh, my secret to longevity with no. masturbation. Oh, I take it right. It. They call it edging. Edging. I take it right Blood up to the point. smoke comes out mm. when Jeremy comes. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't let myself release until there's just a natural, yeah. steady flow of blood it blows coming out because I've I've just worn the skin on the inside. Right. I love and it. Little, yeah. A little flag comes out that says "bang." <laughs> That's Sometimes, if yeah. I put one in there oh, okay. ahead of yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, again, just like with the uh, flash bangs, I use black cats sometimes. I'll put that in there just to get that nice release. Yeah. You know, that, that pain and pleasure right. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Uh, sometimes I'll miss with the punk, though, sometimes. That, mm. whew, that's opposite of cryotherapy, I'll be honest with you. Um, but, yeah, so that was a very nice uh, experience. And then almost immediately after I got done with that, I had a dentist appointment. Oh. So I go to the dentist for just a standard checkup cleaning all that and the hygienist is absolutely fucking amazed with my teeth. She's, oh, I can tell you've been been uh, flossing mm-hmm. more. <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, you mean when you did it? Because uh, I think that was probably the last time. I do use a water pick from time to time, but not near as often as I should. Uh, of course, I lie and say I brush twice a day, mm-hmm. uh, just once. Mm-hmm. I, I should do twice. Sometimes I do twice a day, but uh, no, uh, she was just astonished and she asked me what I've been doing different. And the only thing I think cryotherapy uh, <laughs> correlation equals causation. Right. Oh, and uh, that's right. Cures, cures uh, tooth decay. That's the only thing that uh, that's scientific proof right there that yep. uh, cryotherapy helps with your, your oral health. So uh, you want to keep... Obviously, you just pushed all the calcium from your legs <laughs> up into your up teeth. Up into your teeth. Okay. Yeah, we'll go hey, with that. Whatever fucking happened. works, it worked. <laughs> it had to have. <laughs> right. It had to be what it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she, she uh, typically likes to make my mouth bleed the way I like to make my dick bleed. <laughs> nice. Uh, she it, puts bang flags uh-huh. in your mouth sometimes yeah okay. and black yeah, well, cats? she's a, she's a real trickster oh, okay black cats with strobes 
as well? Sometimes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Once you, that's how they put me out. They don't, uh, they don't put me on gas or any kind of Novocaine. They just disorient me hmm. with flashbangs, homemade flashbangs. Impressive. And they're not a very well-funded dentist office, so right. they have to go with the discount route. Right. Is she pretty hot? The the dental hygienists seem to be hot. They're always hot. Yeah. Uh, this one, well, they, they never take their masks off, so it's hard oh. to tell. Uh, this one seems better. like uh, a very attractive, very pleasant uh, African American woman. Yeah. Um, the the one before her, I will be honest with you, uh, I almost fell in love with. <laughs> uh, I sat there Easy for thirty minutes and just stared into what had to be the most gorgeous blue eyes I had ever seen. Mm -hmm. And then I stood up and she took her mask off and wow, <laughs> <laughs> it was just like oh. it's like how do you just put it back on? Put the fucking mask back on. It was a dude. I, I mean, she looked like she got hit by a bus <laughs> from the nose down. <laughs> from from here up. Perfect. <laughs> if, if her eyes could wear a bikini, I would have fucked them. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm at with that. But uh, no, right. other than that, um, that was pretty much my week. Awesome. Yeah. Well, good stuff. Yeah, great stuff. Way better than yours. I didn't dig a hole. That's true. God, it's a fucking big hole that I got. I got still got to fix that. So yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. You, hey, what are you guys doing this weekend? <laughs> uh, I'll be in South Carolina. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be working. Okay. You know, I got to train all these new hires. That's true. Boy, yeah. I had, I, I got to tell you about something that happened just today. Okay. In my training. Uh, you know how, you know, my work can be kind of tedious. You do the same thing over and over and over yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. For, you know, a bunch of times in a row. And then you do something different. Um, I had a guy stop about three quarters of the way through doing and, sh and was like, uh, so do I just keep going with this? Um, it's, it's hard to explain, really, uh, so I'll make a comparison. It would be like if someone was crossing the street and got halfway and went, do I, do I just finish? Then do, I make, do I go the rest of the way then, or am I just supposed to stay? Am I done here? That, that would be the equivalent of the question. Not to mention it's something he's done three, four times before oh. already. So, uh, yeah, it's going great. I'm sure it is. Nothing nice. frustrating or stressful at all. Nope. About that. Right. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, I we mentioned I love training new yeah, hires. Oh, love my. it. Oh. Uh, we got a lot of sports to go over and a, re uh, a big show to go through. But uh, before we do that, we're going to give a shout out to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. How's your, uh, you know, if I may ask so, uh, Steve, uh, how's, how's your pubes looking right about now, right? Dude, they are non-existent. That's great. They are non-existent because of my Manscaped Lawnmower 4, I think is yep, what 4. I have. Yeah, 4.0. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, awesome. It's the, it has the adjustable LED light. Dude, you can use it for more than that, though. Like, you yeah. can edge up your beard. And you can <laughs> fucking shave your chick's butthole with it. You can do every Dude, that thing was a fucking... That was a nest. It yeah, was like a... there was baby birds in there. <laughs> oh and it just God. whacked it all the way down. It oh, was that's, great. That's yeah. great. That's yeah. awesome that you're... Yeah. You know, Plum you're, thicket. You're yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thorns. It's awesome that your spouse allows you to do that. Yeah. Um, well... Mine. She doesn't have to know. That thing is very quiet. It is. Uh, you know, it <laughs> oh, really you is. Sleep, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, it's got a headlight on it, yeah, so you can yeah. do it when it's pitch black out. It's his, awesome. His wife that sleeps a lot, you know. Yeah, I mean, she does. You take advantage of that. She snores sure. very loud, so, <laughs> so it just covers it up. Masks the, mask the noise. Yeah. Uh, but, no, they, they make a whole bunch of excellent products to help keep yourself groomed. Mm -hmm. uh, they have things like the Weed Whacker. They've got uh, the manicure kit with the uh, shears that Jeremy uh, talks about so much. Uh, they have all other things like cologne, um, which is refined, uh, and another excellent cologne. But they are just full of excellent products to help get you laid. Because we all know that women don't want to <laughs> yes, fuck. <laughs> that really is the only reason to do this, For by the way. furry fucks out there, you need to get yourself some Manscaped products. Go check them out at manscaped.com. I am curious, where do you stop? Because it's like I got this you perfectly shaved stop. patch, and then on my thighs, inner thighs, you got the hair uh, starts up again. Nope, you got to get that too. Nipples yep. to knees. Well, yep. then I've been doing it wrong. Yep, nipples to knees. That's nipples a really? to knees. Yeah, nipples to knees. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shave my happy trail. No. Oh yeah. Okay. And it's only the it's the halfway of the nipples. The top half stays. <laughs> Stay. The sure. bottom half goes. Yeah. Away. You, you want to leave that like a fight, again like an eighty sitcom star. Yeah. yeah. Like somebody out of Three's Company or something. I, I Larry. I think I've said this on the show, but that is the only place on my body that like grows hair abnormally is just around my nipples. <laughs> I have no chest hair whatsoever. <laughs> it, I don't even have ass hair. I'm not even lying. It's like uh, in my backyard when I don't water it good, but I have the drain for where my sump pump. 
pumps out. <laughs> yeah. All the grass around that is really nice and bright and green, and everything else is just brown. <laughs> yeah, but you know how I get, get rid of that nipple hair? Uh, lawnmower 4.0. Yeah. Uh, and and it's so quick and so easy. You can do it while you're getting cryotherapy. You can't. I did. <laughs> yeah. Even when it's cold. It makes I lit up that fucking booth. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you did. Listen to some eagles and uh-huh. fucking shave my pubes. Desperado. Yeah, there you go. That's always a good one to play. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> that, that that is a good ball shaving song. Really, it is. Why don't is. you come to your senses? Yeah, come on. Because I had been out riding fences. I think that's why my legs hurt. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we do check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code sidelines. Get twenty percent off your order and free shipping. Uh, check them out at manscaped.com. All right, we got some sports. We got some sports we're going to get to right here, right now. Um, We've got uh, some baseball that happens to be going on. We're getting really, really close to uh, September baseball, which is the culmination of the regular season and moving on to the postseason. So there's a lot of things that have happened. Uh, I, I, Like I said a couple episodes ago, I'm, I'm kind of turning over a new leaf with Mr. Albert Pujols. Um, he had uh, he hit number 688 and 689 over the weekend against the Brewers uh, in the same game. Uh, he now has the 60 he has his 63rd multi home home run game. And where's that uh, put him on the all time list of home runs? Home runs. I mean, and nobody's going to beat Barry Bonds' steroid having ass, uh, but uh, I think he's at 750, 755. Those were natural steroids. Um, I know where Bonds is at. Yeah, where is Albert Pujols? I, I believe he's just. Is he top ten? Yes. Oh, definitely. Okay. He's he's like top. Uh, I want to say top six, if I remember correctly. Okay. Uh, but I'll I'll pull that up in the meantime. Uh, but it's pretty amazing as far as uh, his age still hitting bombs. Do you think he's still on steroids? Who Bonds? No. Oh, Pooh holes. Pooh holes. I like to think Barry Bonds is too. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Just he walks around. Yeah, just juicing. He I has can't to stop. Yeah, he has to. I, I really think that he has to still. Excuse me. Still, still be doing. Uh, I take doing, testosterone doing every How week. How quick would a manscape be on Barry Bonds with balls that small? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, currently, uh, Albert Pujols is actually number five. He is uh, behind a. That's his jersey number. It is. He is behind a Rod, Babe Ruth, uh, Hank Aaron, and Fuckface at the front. So, all right. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but uh, breaking news: uh, I think it was the very day that our uh, our podcast last week uh, broke. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. to be suspended for 80 games for tested positive for performance enhancing drugs. He said he didn't know. This he said fucking he took sucks. like a flu medicine or something, right? Yeah. I like him so much. I do too. And this fucking sucks. It if does. This is the case. If now, according to his dad, it's for some hair fungus uh, medication. Yeah, that's what's doing it. Because you know, hair, hair fungus. fungus. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, if you look at that fucking bush on top of his head, maybe you could manscape that off. That'd take you a while. Shave you your, couldn't do that in an eye cryotherapy yeah. session. Shave your all. fucking head, bro. Uh, I mean, come on. I mean, what? Have alopecia. It gets rid of hair. It's true. You know? I, I am interested to see, because I think there are a lot of things out there that can make you test positive that maybe you there don't is. know about. Yeah, there is. But it's kind of your job getting paid what you do to know or to at least hire somebody to know. Mm-hmm. So is he, uh, he's not being paid for these 80 games, right? I don't know. I don't know how that well, works. I don't know how that works. I just wonder what's in his contract if he, you know. Right, but if you violate know. the league PED standards, uh, it's uh, it's a suspension without pay. So he's going to be delivering uh, Amazon Flex with me. Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, be, be nice. But to he's going to be doing it really well, you know, with all the performance and answers. Right. Mm-hmm. He's going to run circles around you. He is. Yeah. He is. Um, but it, it not, that if you do the math, that not only means he's going to miss the remainder of this season, he's going to yeah, miss 40 in games season. in yeah. the next season, yep. too. So this is kind of, uh, yeah, it really sucks, especially with uh, him being one of the main ones who's kind of bringing popularity back to I'm the I'm sure game, he's so. going to appeal it. Uh, I don't think he is. No? I don't think he is, no. Uh, I really don't. I mean, he might, he might, but he's not talking about appealing it, and there's no news or buzz saying that he's going to. So, hmm. uh, but yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers have won 12 straight. Shocked? Anybody? No, because they played the Royals, so yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, all I, I 12 am gonna, games. I am gonna say uh, that the uh, the Royals. I saw one of the more impressive things. Uh, it was in the fifth inning. 
uh, Lynch, starting pitcher for the Royals. Uh, bases loaded, nobody out, and he got out of it. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Resilience. Uh, it was uh, it, it was nice to see some fucking fight still. That's good. In the Royals, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. they're fun to watch. They brought up a bunch of minor leaguers. They oh, they're, trade off a bunch of guys, and they've got some youth that I think they're going somewhere. That, yeah, they're going to have them for like you know three, four years, and then they're going to have yeah. players that they're going to have to pay, and then that's when they go to the Yankees and everybody else. So. I don't know that they're good enough to where they're going to have to pay them. I think they're good enough – Role players. Okay. Well, good luck to them. Yeah. Uh, but, Thanks, uh, Scotty. Since the uh, Dodgers have won 12 straight, the Yankees have lost 10 out of their last 12 games, and that even includes with Judge hitting as many bombs as he's hit. So maybe they're starting to decline a little bit. I hope so. I do too. I, I hope with all my heart that those fuckers just uh, literally fall off a cliff. The New York Yankees they're losing is the again best right team now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I cannot tell you. I mean, there are only two cities that really want to have the World Series be the Los Angeles Dodgers and the New York Yankees. The problem is, if that happens, Major League Baseball makes probably the most fucking money. So, But we won't like it. Uh, but yeah, uh, so over and the that'll just show what a great job Rod Manfred is doing. <laughs> Absolutely, fuck that guy. Uh, but we also had the beginning of football season. Yay! Woo! I'm not trying to brag. I'm really not trying to brag here. Sort of. But my Bears beat the Chiefs, and I know it's only preseason; it'll never happen again. But I'll take it. Oh, it might, as long as that jackass is coaching. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't yeah. watch one second of it. It's n it, Basically, the football that's being played right now is there are the correct number of players supposed to be on the field going against each other following the rules. That's basically what's going on. But nobody... Uh, they hand it off just like they do in regular games, Scotty. I know. But sometimes the, they go to the left, sometimes to they the go right. right. Yeah, I know. And every now and then, right up the middle. Mm -hmm. Right up the gut. Sort of. If they go inside mm -hmm. them, they go outside yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Inside them and outside them, Scotty. But nobody cares. Get them on the run, they're going to keep it, them on the run. I guess it's nice to, to see the sport being played, but some of the assholes that come in after like the first seven or eight plays, you've probably never heard of before. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. And that's some assholes, and that's, Scotty. I, I Nobody's ever heard of you. Uh, Mahomes had a... Uh, well, then again, you're an asshole. Uh, Mahomes got a touchdown on the first opening drive, and he and then yeah. he was out of the game. Congratulations. Good for him. Big, big fucking deal. Who do you throw it to? Steve. Uh, really? Yeah. I think it was a black was, guy. Oh. It was a black guy. <laughs> okay. So I'm not fair, sure. Fair well, enough. typically he throws most of his passes to the big white guy. So. <laughs> no, this, this did <laughs> not true. happen. The big white guy that thinks he's a black guy. <laughs> right. No, he's awesome. Yeah. Um, but uh, moving on, uh, New York Jets quarterback Zach Wilson to undergo knee surgery. Saw that. Yeah, after yeah. his injury. Speaking of the black guy, I am wearing my uh, – <laughs> my, my, <laughs> Uh, yeah, jersey, oh, yeah. Black from, Panther. It yeah, like. it's got Black Panther on it. I hope nobody comes after me for cultural appropriation. <laughs> appropriation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody on the team uh, was wearing them that day, and uh, I don't believe they have any black players. And that's uh, that's Bob's rule. Oh, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it! All right. Hey, he uh, can't hear. He's still at the bottom of that duck tank. That's true. He had a cinder block hooked up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, w but after uh, Zach Wilson's surgery, everything went uh, according to plan. The diagnosis was what they anticipated, meaning I think it was a uh, bone bruise and a uh, they just had to make a modification to the MCL. So he's going to be out uh, opening uh, or the opening week, but he should be coming and be a starting quarterback. I hope they made a bionic. Yeah. That would be mm -hmm. so awesome if he could run real fast, but just with one leg. Like my mm -hmm. fat, ugly si so sister. She's got like bi the bionic leg that she has. Give it to Ma give it to Zach Wilson. You have a sister? Yeah. Well, yeah, well she's a, a whore. A, a, fig a figment a, of our imagination that oh. she created. She is a double amputee. Yep. She's got oh. a beautiful prosthetic leg on the left, <laughs> and uh, she spent all her money on that leg, one. All her leg money on that one, so she's got just a regular pirate peg leg. <laughs> <on the laughs> other one. I think I want to bang her. <laughs> well, she's, everybody does. She's really well, easy. nobody actually wants to. She she kind of insists, and it's like, why not? I'm, my yeah. dick's already bleeding. Right. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Next one. Tom Brady has a ten day absence for personal reasons. Experts say it's nothing to do with his health or his family. He just said it's related to work life balance. You so just, it definitely has something to do with his family. No, no, no. I think this is, I don't want to play preseason. Yeah, I don't want to play preseason bullshit. And and it's like, 
Tom, okay, you don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> if if you're anybody the goat. has earned the right to not have to play preseason, mm. I'm thinking it's him. If it were anybody else, though, if it were anybody yeah. else, Jeremy would be cussing and bitching at you and say, go to work! Well, no, I still think that. And oh, okay. But I understand why the team doesn't, because mm-hmm. where else are they going to go for a quarterback? Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that, that kind of is the thing. And most, if it were any other player, that's what most teams would be saying. It's, right. We pay you enough money to get your personal life straightened out in the offseason so that you don't have these problems yeah. come preseason time get your ass to work right yeah. but i think tom can always just threaten to retire yeah I mean, what are you gonna do at the drop of the head of the fucking yeah. hall of fame mm-hmm. that's yep. true yep uh let's see next one <laughs> beast mode <laughs> went drunk mode got pulled over i saw for that video. suspicion of drunk driving he's still one of my favorite people in football he actually I- powered through a pit maneuver <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. I don't know how he did it. Yep. that guy. He, Dude, he his drives. His tires were mode. flat. Like, yep. <laughs> absolutely. Great. They God were. Oh, yeah. Were they really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did they actually yeah. have to chase him down? Yeah. Uh, no, they no, didn't. No, they, they didn't, didn't have chase to chase him down. down. He, they just, had to. he drove over some shit. <laughs> and he was just. He was fucked up. <laughs> they like, pulled. They really drug him out of the car. Yeah. Yeah. They did do that. Thank God. They did. Where was this at? Uh, some things, man. It was in Vegas, right. wasn't yeah. it? Las uh, Vegas? Vegas? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I that's, don't know where it was. That's I'm, where another drunk driving football player killed a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. That sucks. Where, I I actually, it might not have been Vegas. I don't know where the hell it well, happened. Well, they're running out of water out there, so you kind of have to drink alcohol. Uh, so. Did you not hear about over the weekend? Uh-uh. Uh, flash floods. Oh, oh yeah. Vegas, yeah. In Vegas? Yeah, yeah. 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 Huge Point, flash floods. Point like, five, eight inches. Fucking oh, Las Vegas Boulevard but their fucking was a river. soil there is so dry, and they yeah. just can't take it that it was flooding the fucking casinos. Yes. Yeah. Nice! Yeah, it literally yes. flooded the casinos. Oh. So now Lake Mead is up to four feet deep. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Have you seen that where it's they've uncovered like old oh, yeah. ghost oh, towns and oh, shit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Used to be there. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty fucking yeah. amazing. Yeah. Uh, but last but certainly not least, this is my favorite one. Because the suspension <laughs> of Deshaun Watson has not fully been put into play, he was able to play a preseason game in Jacksonville against the Jaguars, and the Jacksonville Jaguars fans chanted for a lot of the time he was out on the field and just kept on saying, you sick fuck, you sick yeah. fuck. And I I, like there, there was also strong. some no means no. And no means no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, did you hear the uh, the coaches? No quote afterwards nor do i care uh oh you'll you'll care okay Uh, it it was mostly just a hey we're used to this once again it's just cleveland versus the world you know (laughs) yeah cleveland (laughs) not not deshaun watson right and and his rapey ass yeah no shit is that what he did either i thought he did i thought he was in uh sexual assault Uh, well not massage parlors he was Having women come to his house, massaging him oh, that he wanted happy why endings. Why didn't he just go to him. like Mrs. Lingling's? Yeah, of the, the pandemic, I believe they weren't open. Oh, and so okay. he had to have them come to his house, and he was basically forcing his jizz upon their uh, breasts. <laughs> I'm surprised he <laughs> isn't working for a Robert Kraft I, team. I, right I know it, it's coming around the around yeah, the corner, for sure though. it Maybe. should be. Well, definitely should be. There's obviously more sports that you can go and look up, uh, but. Uh, this is a comedy show, and uh, we're going to move on to the comedy. I forgot to yeah, even tell you. Hey, right. guys, this is a comedy show. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're going to move on to the comedy and the jokes and stuff like that. So, uh, But uh, first yeah. thing, yeah, first thing, we didn't do this last week, and I missed it. Uh, we've got some real shit or horse shit to go over. This is pretty self-explanatory. I love this one. Uh, this is when I say something, and uh, it's either real shit or horse shit to you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, mm-hmm. first one. I'm going to bounce around here. We're going to be out of order, guys, so don't think I'm skipping them Fuck over. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, first one, real shit or horse shit. I will sometimes pretend that I am rocky when I go for a run. When would I go for a run? <laughs> On your elliptical? Uh, well, then no, because uh, I have it, you know, just... I, I missed that I, I walk. scene in the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I always do. I, Come on, Mick. <laughs> I put five, six raw eggs in a glass, drink them up, and then get on the elliptical, just like Rocky did, you that's know? That's exactly. Yeah, right. You chase that's, a chicken uh, on yeah, the elliptical. Right. right. No, come on. Whenever you were out running, you're going up they some stairs. They get away most of the time. You don't sit there and have your headphones blaring. Dun, dun, dun. 
dun, 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 dun. I will do this whenever I'm at a building that has a big flight of steps yeah. in front of it, but not if I'm out for a run because that doesn't happen. <laughs> this is uh, this is incorrect. You know Crazy Mike. You've heard of Crazy Mike before, Of course you? I know mm-hmm. Crazy Mike. Crazy Mike would do that shit all the time. I figured out where he lives, mm-hmm. by the way. I know where? exactly where he lives. I, I'm not I thought it was Larnard his... State Hospital. No, I'm not no. going to give his where he lives at, but I, I happened no. to be out doing some errands one day when I saw him on a bicycle, mm-hmm. and I saw the house that he pulled into. Uh, Might is, not have been his. Is it, okay, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm wondering if it's in the same spot because he used to live down the street for where I, from where I grew up, and that was on the east side of town. Okay. Yep. He's in the same goddamn spot. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, this we're is not saying which town. No, we're not saying which town. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is real <laughs> shit. Real shit for me. I, I, if I'm being a dork and I'm having to run, I'm gonna try to have as much fun as I possibly can. So yeah, I, I do. I blare the the eye of the tiger in my headphones. And, and it, it's weird to do this because the only time really that I run is when I'm being chased. Right. <laughs> and uh, to just all of a sudden pose with my arms up and shit. Yeah. And, oh yeah. You totally. Know, turn around, run backwards, and be like, "Come on, come on." Mm, come yeah. On. No, I don't do that. Cut me, this Nick. This is uh, this is horse shit for me because when I run. Which has I haven't really run in a long time, but when I was running every single day, last time I was in Iraq, I would say probably, mm-hmm. uh, I listened to Britney Spears work, bitch. Really? Yeah, I would All listen right. to it on repeat. It is the best running song you will ever listen to. Yeah. What about Party in it's the USA? Amazing. No, <laughs> no, it's you I'll better work, that. bitch. James Brown. If you want a hot body, no, no, that's if you want a Bugatti. If you want to, I don't know. It's I don't remember. Living how, it's in America. Fucking amazing. Living in America. I love it. Sorry. <laughs> Very good. Cool. Party in the USA is Miley Cyrus. You yeah. kind of got the yeah. right country, Scotty. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, it's from Renaissance Man. Whenever they're in the back, and it's R O C K in the USA, and they kept oh. on going. James Brown. Yeah. Well, the, his name gets brought up in the song, but yes, he didn't. But sing he it. doesn't sing it. No. no James. I, I don't know Brown. who originally did that, but I believe oh. it was covered by uh, John mm-hmm. Mellencamp. Uh, yeah, that that version is John Cougar Man. But all right, next one, uh, real shit or horse shit. Mm-hmm. I will sometimes pretend. Oh, I'm sorry, I just did that one. I apologize. Yeah, you did that. I oh, will sometimes sorry. pretend that you didn't <laughs> just read that question. I know. Uh, no, next one, uh, real shit or horse shit. I will sometimes eat a family sized bag of chips in one sitting by myself. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Every I fucking mean, one of us are guilty of this. Yeah, this is yeah. real shit. I mean, I don't do it anymore. I'm uh, sure I will again someday. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of okay, one of my favorite just snacks all time. Uh, just regular Doritos, the the fucking nacho cheese ones, mm-hmm. uh, dipped in cottage cheese. Oh, you and, sick motherfucker! Oh no, it's Ugh, that would beautiful. Be sour it's cream. fucking beautiful. Oh, that's it is a cool summer treat. Disgusting. And uh, no, it's it's fantastic. Oh. And I will eat an entire family size bag of of chips and an entire thing of cottage cheese. It, Small it, curd cottage cheese. My wife once made the mistake of getting large curd. Mm-hmm. It's the weirdest looking shit, by the way, because <laughs> when they say large curd, they're not fucking around. <laughs> I mean, there's like two curds in a fucking thing. Oh wow! Uh, but from now on, ever since then, my son and I have never stopped giving her shit about that. So, <laughs> do you want me to get cottage cheese? What are you talking about? Do you want me to get small curd cottage cheese? Yeah. yeah <laughs> uh, no, if you if you leave a full unopened bag of Chex Mix, mm. uh, that is getting fucking annihilated. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's your uh, favorite flavor of Chex Mix, Scotty? Uh, I like the, I, I like the original man. I'm with you. Uh, the yeah, original one is you. my favorite. So. That's fine. I like the nacho cheese ones dipped in uh, cottage, cottage cheese. cheese. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I uh, I think that this is this is real it's, shit. it's real shit for me too. We I don't know if we've mentioned this or not, but I have a show called the Almost Late Show every yeah. Monday, mm-hmm. and we did a segment where we did different flavors of Lay's potato chips, and one of the flavors that we came up with was fresh shaved asshole nice. in family size. Wow. And I think I would eat that. One I'm sure you would. For sure. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit. If I get mm. a package with bubble wrap, mm. I'm popping some bubble wrap. Oh, yeah. Uh, a- Amazon anymore actually doesn't even send it in bubble wrap say, anymore. Man, now they're those, sucks. it's those big fucking yeah. air deals, big but tubes of air. So I actually take those. Those and, sound like a gunshot. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. And especially if your wife's not paying attention, you go up behind her and pop that fucker right behind mm. her head. Woo! Yeah, it pisses her off. But other than that, but yeah, bubble wrap's great. Yeah, I love it. How about you, Jeremy? 
I, I do like bubble wrap. Uh, I will take a rolling pin to a sheet of bubble wrap. That's a lot of fun. Just <laughs> get it all out of the way. Uh, all right. So pretty much real shit for everybody. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. I still do cannonballs when jumping into a swimming pool. I have found that doing can openers gives a bigger splash, so just, I do not do the cannon. You just ball. get the one knee up there, huh? Yeah, just the one knee, and it it. I have a pool, and uh, my backyard is flooded with water when my fat ass does a can <laughs> opener in the deep end. Ah, uh, yeah, this is real shit. I still do one, and I do the can <clears throat> opener as well. And and I like the can. Opener. I can one hundred percent verify what Steve just said. Mm-hmm. Can opener, bigger splash. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, bigger yeah. surface area. Yeah. 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 Uh, Jeremy? Uh, no. Uh, I like to walk in the steps and just slowly get to ball level. <laughs> get that, that nice shot. <laughs> you That's hover awesome. a little bit? You should have can opened it. I get to that point and I'm like, I know if I just get the rest of the way in, this will go away. But at the same time, I can't make myself do it. So <laughs> I'm stuck at that point. Yep. And and it doesn't matter how hot a pool is. It will always be cold on your balls when you get to that level. Yep. Every absolutely. Time. All right. Last one. Real <clears throat> shit or horse shit. I still have a hard time pronouncing. Um, Worcestershire sauce. Hey, you're. I do not have a hard time with that really? because I am not mentally retarded. <laughs> no. <laughs> I kind what? of am. I am actually. Oh, we're just, I am we're just dyslexic. Worcestershire sauce. I mean, we're, we're, yeah. we're, 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 people want to pronounce that syllable, that that silent syllable. They want to say Wor- Worcestershire yeah, sauce. Yeah, Worcestershire <laughs> sauce. It's like you dumb fuck. Listen to anybody from that area, either either from the East Coast or from England. Worcester. Yeah, the w that, sauce. Worcestershire. That, that is actually. Yeah, that's how I, I tried. Yeah, to they don't. Pr- it's not pronounced like it's spelled. No, it, it, and I tried. There was a guy that did it like really slow. He's like say wo wo. Stir, stir, shire, sauce. Okay, say it all together. Worcestershire sauce. That's me every fucking well, time. It originated in a place that they put vinegar on their food to make it taste better. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah, you know. yeah, because yeah. they didn't know how to make ketchup. Exactly. <laughs> right, because tomatoes won't grow there. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. All right. Well, Yikes. that is real shit or horse shit. Now we get to move on to a new segment we did last week, which I really fucking like. Oh, this, this is, is ca- cool. Yeah, this is called. No, this is your first time doing it. This mm-hmm. is called Wrong Answers Only, and this is All another right. movie quote edition. So oh, we're going to okay. do some some famous movie quotes. Okay. Um, and uh, we're going to have some blanks in there, and you're going to have to fill them in. So uh, mm-hmm. we're going to do the first one. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's blank. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a giant labia. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. Yeah. Hey. It, it, it could happen. It could fly. It has wings. It flaps. Uh, sure. Especially if it's that time of the month. It's got that maxi pad mm-hmm. with wings. Oh, man. How about uh, how about you, Jeremy? It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a bird. Uh, <laughs> <I understand. laughs> this is a big bird. I, oh. I still say... That, you know, it makes total sense. When people bitch about Clark Kent's disguise as just glasses Uh and nobody could tell, they couldn't tell the difference between a bird Bird and a plane plane. (laughs) and a a flying person. Right. Yeah. So uh, human being, just like this. He didn't even have his wings out to the side. It was straight away. Straight out. No fucking plane flies like that. You confuse that with a bird? Yeah. Fuck Mm -hmm. you. I've never seen a bird put his wings out front. Yeah. Uh, I would like to, though. Yeah. I would, too. Let's let's steal a bird and keep its wings out front and throw it. It is, uh, let's see, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's wacky, wavy, and inflatable tube, man. I can't even say that shit. (laughs) Just say Worcestershire. Worcestershire (laughs) source. Okay. All right. Next. uh, That's from uh, Superman 1941, by the way. Nice. Uh, Wrong answers only. Next one. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to blank. Boogie. <laughs> that was the great Mandy Patinkin who played that role, and uh, he is a wonderful actor. And from what I understand, a huge pain in the ass to work with. I'm sure. And um, I think he can dance. You think he can dance? Well, yeah. I mean, he was a star on Broadway for wow. that's where most people know him from. Okay. Mm-hmm. How about you, Steve? Uh, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to have a giant labia. <laughs> 
<laughs> really? That's all I got. Uh, I just, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to ever want to give you up. Never want to let you oh, down. Oh, no. Yeah, I'd Rick Astley. Yeah, Ricky, yeah, I'd Rick Astley that shit. Prepare to kiss me. <laughs> Prepare to kiss me? Okay, fine. Mm. Killing my father makes me very horny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You are a six-fingered man. <laughs> Show me what that six finger is for. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All tickle right. The taint. Okay. Uh, next one. I live my life blank at a time. Mm-hmm. Oh, you said okay. You did tell him it was from the Princess Bride. Right? Oh, sorry. The previous Just one. In case was someone had ever. Yeah. yeah. You know. Okay. No. Next one is from Fast and the Furious. I live my life blank at a time. Me? I, yeah. I. I mean. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with one cheeseburger at a time, man. That okay. is true. Yeah, bro. that is true. Just packing on the lbs just from one to the other. Sure. One to the not? other. Oh, that's yeah, pretty good. I had yeah. Arby's on the way over. Yeah, here. delicious. One one cheeseburger. It's kind of like a shaved cheeseburger with cheese on, like just yeah. like a big labia. Yeah. yeah, labia, giant really labia. Yeah. Might as well go on with a, the theme. On a bun. Yeah, that's true. How about uh, how about you? Uh, I I live my life about a half hour at a time. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> That's all he's planning for. <laughs> That's what he's planning yeah. for. That's it. I my my I have a, a forty eight sectioned off clock at home. Oh, and uh, it divides things into half hours. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, well done. How about you, uh, Steve? I live my life one giant labia at a time. <laughs> okay. You're kind of stuck with the same yeah, I one. I know it's kind of weird. You I, hop yeah. from one labia to yeah. another. Yeah. 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 Uh, been this one with for a while though. Uh, all right. Jeez. Probably not much longer. Right. Mm-hmm. Next mm-hmm. next one. No one makes me blank my own blank. Nobody. It's from Dodgeball. Okay. Mm-hmm. No one makes me suck my own dick. Nobody. Damn, I wish I could do that. You just yeah. do it on your own then? Yeah. Or, yeah, I would do that. Yeah. Is that, that what do you're doing down lot. that hole? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I was that's doing. That's what it took so long. That's exactly right. You're just begging for another fucking water breakage. <laughs> it, it's yeah, a great hiding so space. Sick. Yeah. Uh, how about you, uh, Steve? No one makes me giant my own labia, nobody. <laughs> okay. Dodgeball. Dodgeball. Uh, Jeremy. I was going to say fart my own farts. Uh, <laughs> I like to fart other people's <laughs> farts as yeah. often as I can. I will trap them, inject them into my own anus, <laughs> along with a uh, flag that says bang. Uh, and, uh, yeah, all that's right. what I do. Shove a couple of black cats in there, and boom, off to the races. Okay. Like a starter's pistol. Awesome. Uh, all right, and last one. This one is from Training Day. Mm-hmm. Blank ain't got shit on me. Mm-hmm. Hagar uh, the Horrible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Regis Philbin. Yeah. Yes, he does. No, he Motherfucker. doesn't. Motherfucker. I'm much better than Regis. Do not insult is it, Regis. Is he dead? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me and Derek actually came up with a whole new calendar that starts from the time <laughs> Regis after died. Regis. That's right. Huh. Uh, how about you, Steve? Uh, giant Elmo ain't got shit on me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Love what? it. Got to be giant, huh? Got to be mm. giant. What about a regular Elmo? No, yeah. fuck him. He's a weirdo. Yeah, he is kind of What's a What's the difference other than size between uh, giant? Deeper, nah, deeper. Giant, Elmo looks, giant Elmo looks more like Brittany Griner. And he doesn't talk like this. What's he talk like? Brittany Griner? Yeah. yeah. Like this? Right. Yeah. yeah. Like JP? Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, but now we get to move on to bad oh, advice with Jeremy. Oh yeah, we part. we did not do one last week because we had a lot of shit going on. But mm-hmm. this week we I kind of got started one. to nice. uh, huh? to come up with some stuff. So I'll just do what I have here. That's fine. I you, make it short and sweet. You don't <laughs> have to go forever. All right, done. Oh. Yeah, uh, but and this, that's my advice. Again, uh, we do take submissions for these. Uh, If you have any particular situation that you would like the worst possible advice from Mm -hmm. our friend, Mr. Jeremy Joseph, you can send it to us at laughing on the sidelines at Instagram or TikTok, but I would prefer Instagram so Jeremy can see it as well. Yep. Um, And uh, you will get the worst fucking advice of all time from Jeremy Joseph. This week we get one from Nathan Braun, Mm -hmm. and he writes, Jeremy... My wife and I are first-time home buyers, and we are needing advice on what to look for in a house. What do we do? Well, congratulations on uh, on buying a house or shopping, at least for buying a house. That is uh, something I highly suggest 
to anybody. It's very cathartic, very therapeutic to go shopping for houses. It's the only time when you're allowed to walk into someone else's home and go, yeah, I don't like anything about this place. <laughs> uh, and do that a lot. I mean, somebody has made a whole history for their family there, and you can just go in and shit on the wallpaper. <laughs> and uh, I love doing that, even if you're not in the market for a house. Um, but uh, if you're buying a house, uh, there's one thing that you do, and I always do this right off the bat. Let the realtor know what kind of a person you are. You're a fucking baller. Insist on paying those closing costs. <laughs> no matter what they are, you got to shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, when you go to... Uh, to apply for a mortgage, uh, dude, this ain't golf. You don't want no low APR, all right? You get as high as possible, 10%, 12%. Put it on a fucking credit card if you can. Uh, 29%. Absolutely. Yeah, if, if, if uh, be like me where my uh, my Home Depot card is, or not my Home Depot, my uh, Old Navy card is also a uh, MasterCard, yeah, put it on there. Uh, no house should cost more than $600. Um <laughs> Let's see, because uh, that that you know that's my credit, right? Right. right. Um. Anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, you're you're flying high. You're out there free. Nobody likes being grounded, especially your outlets. So no grounded outlets in the entire that house. All right. Sense, Chances right. are you're going to be doing a little bit of work on this place. Maybe putting in lights and whatever. You got enough shit to worry about with white and black and blue and red wires, green. Who fucking cares, right? <laughs> it's true. You don't need that shit. Um. Now, the biggest thing to look for, you know, if a realtor starts telling you about all the features, hardwood floors or arched doorways or crown molding, whatever, they're covering something up. What you want is a house with what they call potential. All right. That's (laughs) when a realtor says something like this house has a lot of potential. That's what you want. A little spackle and a coat of paint. And I think this room could be great. They are in no way covering up what will be months and months of fucking, you know, remodel work and huge pain in the ass that you'll have to invest thousands and thousands of dollars into. You want potential. Now what you want is to look for things that you can use to discount the price of the house. Um, Things like a cracked foundation. They always say that, you know, a house has to be built on a strong foundation, right? Well, stupid them, the house is already fucking built. I don't even think you need a foundation anymore. If it's cracked, you can ask for money off of that shit. Jesus Christ, where's my music? Sorry, there it goes. Uh, also, uh, termite damage. Hmm. I mean, fuck, who cares, right? Most of the wood is still there. It's a few little holes, right? <laughs> who cares? I mean... You can better ventilation. Still, you can ask for a a a, a, a discount on that shit. Uh, if they tell you that the house has black mold, that's how you know that your your realtor is racist. Um, <laughs> you don't discriminate against any kind of mold. They're all welcome. Uh, you want to live in a neighborhood with uh, lots of garage bands that practice mm-hmm. uh, late hours. Um, Try and find a house that uh, a murder has been taking place <laughs> in. Because, I mean, honestly, murders don't happen that often. And, I mean, lightning ain't going to strike twice. Nobody's going to murder anybody in a house where there's already been a murder. And and clearly, that's such a big problem that whatever it was that caused that murder, clearly the police have cleaned up that neighborhood. And now it's completely safe. You probably don't even need locks on the door. But any of those things, now, you can ask for, because of, you know they've got these issues, you can ask for big discounts. I'm talking two, three hundred dollars, okay? <laughs> and uh, but yeah, insist on paying those closing costs. And uh, good luck in your new dwelling. That's my advice. <laughs> sweet, nothing. That was short and sweet. Not a single thing to about the point. Make sure that it does not have running water. That's very important. I feel like if you find a house that's got a lot of suicides and it's surrounded by sex offenders, uh-huh. you're going to yeah. get a phenomenal yeah. deal. Phenomenal, phenomenal deal. deal. Oh, yeah. If you be can, like, we stole this thing. Yeah. If you can find a house where like hobos have set up a sex dungeon yeah. in the basement, yeah. I yeah. mean, if, now you don't have to do it. That's right. Dirty Mike and the boys. Yeah, that's right. I love it. Well, thank that's you very awesome. much. Call it a soup kitchen. <laughs> thank yeah. you very much, that's Nathan. That's awesome. For your submission, Jeremy really appreciates that. Congratulations yeah. on and the house. Yeah, congratulations, congratulations on the house. On, on buying your new shithole. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you right. listen to this show, I'm guessing it's not going to be very nice. Well, yeah. You don't have good taste. Right. Um, 
But yeah, thanks, anyway, Nate. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was yeah, bad thanks, advice. Thanks, again, thanks. if you have any uh, situation that you'd like to write into us again, at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Fuck yeah, I like this segment a lot. Again, self-explanatory. Overrated or underrated, you'll get it. All right. Mm-hmm. First one, overrated or underrated, security cameras in your house. Fuck that. What? Yeah, I'm not having them in my house. Why I'm not? around my house, but I'm not having them in my house. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want the Russians to be able to hack into the inside of my house and watch me. God. No, of course they're underrated. And do you want to know why? They're because, overrated. No, because you they're know what? They're overrated. No. You can get footage of a guy mm-hmm. fucked up on what? Ambien. Ambien throwing a goddamn turnover into a microwave. And that is why you have in inside cameras. We don't even have that security system anymore, so I don't even know if we have access to that. Oh, so, somebody uh, does. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. If TikTok was around whenever that happened, oh my God, your wife would have posted that immediately. My wife doesn't even have TikTok on her phone, and she's Chinese. That's crazy. She's smarter than all of us. A real one from Japan. Yeah. Uh, but how about you, Jeremy? Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, they're they're overrated for that very reason. Yeah. Oh. Uh, because that was a big source of embarrassment for me for mm-hmm. a while. No, and it doesn't have to be that story. Uh, the, some people have captured some funny shit with indoor cameras. So Dude, you, you have to draw a, a good, line somewhere. It, based off what I've seen on YouTube, it's a good way to get paranormal shit. Oh, yeah. yeah Look at the true. orbs. That's true. Oh. There's orbs. Yeah. Oh, my wife hasn't dusted in 13 years. Yeah, it's fucking called the years, Boca effect. But it's definitely fox. orbs. Okay, well, uh, then might as well go ahead and move on to the next one. Orbs. <laughs> Overrated or underrated paranormal TV shows. Oh, it's kind of like watching Bigfoot Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like we know you're going to think you found something, but you didn't. I don't know. I man. think it's overrated. Bigfoot's fucking real. I agree. Um, he just doesn't like to show himself because he has a tiny dick and he's uh, scared and he's shy. I think Mitch Hedberg said it best. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bigfoot's just naturally blurry. <laughs> he's blurry. <laughs> <laughs> the photo is fine. He's just blurry. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Uh, no, this is, uh, they're overrated. I- I'm not going to lie. Like when the TikToks happen and stuff like that and it's some kind of weird, crazy shit, I'm probably, I'm sure there's probably some pretty good evidence of why that shit happened. But mm-hmm. I don't, yeah, I don't know. But I think it's overrated. I'm good. Jeremy? Oh, they're all horseshit. Yeah. I mean, every one of them, uh, ghosts aren't real. Oh, that's um, not the segment we're doing. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> but <it's, laughs> Yeah, they're horseshit. <laughs> but here, God damn it. Now you threw me all off. <laughs> I just was um, correcting you. It's overrated and underrated, not there, horseshit, real shit. There are different types of them. Uh, there's the ones where, like, they send in the ghost hunting team yeah. or whatever. Oh, but, Zach. Yeah, there's several of them, and they yeah. can all suck my dick. Yeah. Uh, but. Except for the, if you listen to this uh, this podcast, then then you're okay. I agree. No, up they can a... suck my dick. Okay. Um, yeah, we actually have a ghost hunter follower who, uh, he could suck my dick. I don't care. I wow. Mean, I grew um, up in a haunted house, like a legit, no, I, truly. No, you didn't. Uh, yes, it was demonically haunted. No, it wasn't. Um, yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, there are also the ones where they do the dramatic recreation of somebody who's got a haunting story. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the best part about that is when they show the actors who are recreating it and then they show the real life people. Mm-hmm. And like the mediums are, they're always redheads, like fire redheads. And uh, they're always very slender, sexy ones on the dramatic recreation of it. And then in real life, they are 400 oh, fucking pounds. <laughs> yeah, they're a little big. Every time. Yeah. I, I have actually yet to see a slender uh, paranormal they're, they researcher. Don't exist. Female paranormal yeah, researcher. Yeah, the, the chick from um, fucking Roger Rabbit doesn't exist. Unless in they're incredibly goth. And uh, yeah. no thanks. And then that's um, not even real red hair. It's right. Dyed. I mean, they, they live their life by demons and a quarter mile at a time. Right. Yeah. Uh, but no. <laughs> Paul um, Walker haunts their shit. <laughs> I, I have figured out, based off of these these dramatized recreation stories, mm-hmm. uh, if you ever want to keep your house from being haunted, don't get a rocking chair. That's how it always starts. <laughs> the is, chair will start yeah. rocking by itself. I yeah. uh, couldn't possibly well, do seismic ghosts activities. Well, it's the 1800s or, and shit. Sure. That's all they did. Yeah. Uh, it's also or always somebody... Or people that went to Cracker Barrel a lot. It's always somebody who 
found the house of their dreams, but it's a fixer upper, mm-hmm. but, yeah. and they don't know why it's so cheap. Yeah. Uh, which tells me that ghosts never haunt rental properties. Uh, <laughs> so just rent, and if you don't want to be haunted, that's true. Uh, but yeah, if you find that's an old farmhouse out in the middle of nowhere for eighteen bucks, uh, maybe don't live there. I'm gonna guess that there's problems, not ghost related. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. I bet you they have grounded outlets. Yeah, that's a problem. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. Next, next one. Overrated or underrated? Sitting inside a large tire and rolling down a hill. Fuck, let's do it. I'm in. I don't know, oh, man. Oh, yeah. I it feel like it looks fun from get, the outside. Yeah, my fat would get tangled up in there. Or oh, something. no. Centrifugal force, you'll be fine. You'll actually pick mm-hmm. up speed a lot more mm-hmm. than I will. So uh, I'm in. Let's go. Ugh. Jeremy? Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> I don't think people realize how fast they're spinning on the inside mm-hmm. of these. I have seen videos of people doing it, and they are so fucked up and disoriented and usually throw up. <laughs> When I get done, I've never seen anybody do this and go, God damn, that was fun. I, it's always regret. Yeah. It's, it's like seeing somebody get hit by a car and going, I want to do that. No, it's, it's not. Damn. No, no. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with Jeremy on this one. Fine. That's just I don't want anything to do with this, sir. No. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Crashing a wedding and giving a toast. Hell yeah. That's badass, dude. Come on. I love it. That's yeah. amazing. It, it, it's like one of the best feelings I've ever felt in my entire life. Me and my brother crashed a wedding of people we had no idea who they were. Nice. Uh, Fred was holding a baby by the end of that wedding. Nice. Holding their baby. The that's wedding awesome. Well, that's the and whole bride. reason they Fred, got did you married. Get a toast? Uh, I think Fred may have. I'm not 100% sure. But we drank their alcohol, though. This sounds like a challenge that I would be interested in. Yes. It sounds like an adrenaline rush. That is, That seems like the ultimate in improv, that you have to totally be able to read the room and know if you're getting things right or wrong yep. and see just the recognizable confusion in somebody's face as to where do I know him from? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want... I want that. Oh, the the yeah. one of the one of the kids' moms co- was coming up to him with Fred holding the baby and was like, "Oh, how do you know so and so?" And Fred was just like, "Just met him tonight, you know, <laughs> just like that." Oh, that's fucking funny. Uh, helped him deliver good. this baby. Yeah, I helped him deliver yeah. the baby. Yeah, I was their midwife. Yeah, uh, so underrated, pretty much. Uh, mm, all the way around. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sure. All right. Uh, last one. Overrated or underrated? Calling someone to tell them you can't talk right now. Well, I've never done that before, but I know what it's on my agenda this evening. <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh my god. I I don't know. Like if I did this, I would feel like an asshole. Yeah. Um fuck yeah. that. Because I can't you wait. are. Oh no. No, I don't think I don't think you do this. I really uh, don't. 100%. When are you gonna be filling in that hole? Because <laughs> I I wanna call you. <laughs> okay. I wanna make you stop what you're doing in the middle of that. And then be to like, let you know that can't I, I, right I can't. I uh, can't. Dude, I'm busy. Yeah. No. This is this is overrated. Not I filling in a hole. I could not do it to anybody. I I'd love it. it. Jeremy, I love it. I think it's great. Yeah. Jeremy. Yeah. Uh, I would love to start doing this. Hundred <laughs> uh, percent. Here, here's the only bad thing about it. I gotta call people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be. That'd be. I, yeah. I wouldn't mind texting somebody like. Can't talk now. <laughs> yeah. Starting the conversation like that. B- BRB. <laughs> As a matter of fact. <laughs> driving. Oh. Yeah. That's good. I go. dig that. That's that's awesome. Just start texting random people. Can't talk right now. And they, yeah. t- they message back. I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Or just text them to start a conversation. Just, uh, you know. Hey, hey what's what, do you, what do you got going on right now? <laughs> and we, oh, not much. Just watch the TV. Can't talk right now. In a meeting. <laughs> That's such a dick move. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, any under, overrated or underrated suggestions, again, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or I've, TikTok. I've just texted. And for all other suggestions, Wednesday. <laughs> we Wh- have our episodes come out on Wednesday. Okay, I've just texted five people I can't talk right now. <laughs> so let's see what let's happens. Let's see what happens. That's fucking awesome. Was, was hey, I one of them? I was going to say, no. I just got a text message from Man. Steve. Okay. <laughs> All right. Why didn't I bother texting you with that before <laughs> that the show pretty started? Good. That would have been pretty good. Sorry, I can't make it. Uh, yeah. All right. Busy. Moving on. Now we get to questions and preguntas. Again, any suggestions? You mean questions you? and questions. Questions and questions in Spanish. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Steve is authentically Spanish. Very much. 
Right. So we should just go through all of them. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, I'm getting texts back. Yep. <laughs> Did I call you? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Question mark. And say, why, why do you ask? <laughs> All right, the next one I'll definitely. <laughs> that's fucking great. That's now awesome. I have to. No, he's gonna do oh, it. that's great. Oh, do it to your wife. That is great. Uh, but no, but we, uh, got, we what, what? One out of five <laughs> gives a fuck. I think that's what's even better. I know. Gonna, did you text Derek? Is he one of them? No. Oh, I'll, I'll no, get him. I, yeah, I, I got him. Hey, you fucking chill. You <laughs> leave him alone, you asshole. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in the middle of a game right now, so yeah. perfect timing. Oh, uh, shit. We're getting another text back. Hang on. <laughs> oh, uh, man. This is way too fun. He said, weird, I just got your I can't talk right now text. <laughs> <laughs> well. I think it was a delay. <laughs> well, I can't. I said, well, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, this is my new favorite thing. I we love done. it. Oh, shit. This I hope. is fucking awesome. Oh, this is great. This I could be a new segment on the show. <laughs> I love it. I oh, love it Derek so much. Derek just says me neither. Uh, <laughs> This is perfect. Oh, I great. fucking love this. This this has got to be a new trend. We're it trending. I, but we should have a segment where we Uh-oh, call he's somebody. He's responding again. And, and let them know, you're, you're on the podcast. I can't talk right now. I'm recording. He just said, good to know. Sorry to bother you, question mark. <laughs> Tell him apology accepted. <laughs> this is my favorite uh, thing. I love this. this. I just said apology yeah. accepted. <laughs> For the... For the first time ever, I don't want to leave the show. <laughs> this is oh, that was great. great. I love this. And I love how the other four people are like, the fuck? <laughs> they know me well enough to be like, I'm not responding to this bullshit in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Derek, Derek text me neither, so I'm texting him the eggplant and the okay. <laughs> So, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> yeah, I love this. Well, we got to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh-huh. Jesus. Okay, here we uh, go. So, yeah, first one. I'm Okay, this is this is something I've been wanting to do for the last couple of weeks, but we haven't selected it, and I'm so glad that we finally are. Well, that's I got another text. It. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, feel free I didn't, to interrupt. I didn't this call thing. you, LOL. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I just, I'm but, just going to put, but I no know. shit, you never do. <laughs> But I know. I know. <laughs> okay. Right, here we go. I'm just letting go. you know I can't talk. <laughs> okay. First question. Uh, I, I saw this somewhere, and I'm so glad we have a discussion here. If Kevin McAllister from Home Alone mm-hmm. was to go up against Predator, who would win? Predator. Hold on. Kevin McAllister gets 48 hours to plan. He could get 48 years to fucking plan. Predator still yeah. wins. It's fucking Predator. He's invisible. Yeah. Um, it, he, he might have a, like a, a, a booby trap switch with a paint can no. down some Did you, stairs. No. Did, Look, there Marv was a, and Carl or whatever the fuck their name are are Harry, idiots. Whatever. Harry. Predator is fucking Predator. Predator's yeah. not fucking around. Yeah, he's no wet bandits. Know? Yeah, he's not he's accidentally not. grabbing a hot door handle and holding it going, oh, oh no. Hit That's Predator not. with a paint can. See what the fuck happens. <laughs> Predator is going to end your lineage if you hit him with a paint can. There was a scene in the very first Predator where I literally oh, boy, went, got- look at that body, McMahon. <laughs> he blew him in half. Yeah. He literally blew Jesse the Body Ventura in half, yeah. who was carrying, uh, by the way, a such an unrealistic. He was carrying a minigun uh, that was backpack fed with... The amount of ammo that he would have been carrying would have weighed 500 pounds. That's okay. Uh, well, yeah, I suppose it would be if it were at all feasible. I would love to have a portable minigun. Mm-hmm. I-, I would get one that shot BBs. We've got an update. All right. I can't talk right now. I didn't call you LOL. I know. And then he just said <laughs> weird, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I needed to make sure that you knew. <laughs> you knew. Uh, I'm not to a, call me. Now oh, I'm getting okay. a call. Let him know that I'm they're getting on a call the, the now. air. Let him know that they're on the air. Was it one of the guys that you get? Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's great. I can't. Uh, I can't, I can't okay. answer in no, the middle you of the show. Up. No, no. no. I, I'm good with telephones. Fine. Have him it's answer. Fine. Have him answer it and say, uh, "This is uh, Steve's phone. He can't talk right now." <laughs> no, it's fine. He hung up. Okay. We're good. All We're right. good. Yep. Um, but no, I'm gonna take yeah, Kevin. So I'm gonna take Kevin McAllister. You fucking yeah, idiot! I am. I'm gonna take Kevin McAllister. Man, just pure genius. Booby yeah. traps all over the place. He's not. He a doesn't genius. even have to be there. Okay. As a reminder, Kevin McAllister still needed an old man with a fucking snow shovel to save his ass. That this is, is 100. True. And Donald Trump. But in realistic, yeah, it's true. In realistic, uh, he would have had two bodies on his hands yeah. in the house mm-hmm. and a lot of unsprung booby traps because that exactly. fucking paint can <laughs> would have killed. Joe Pesci. <laughs> yes, yeah. It would have. And then in Home Alone 2, that fucking bar. Oh, yeah. my God. they would That would have knocked their heads off. I don't know that I ever saw Home Alone 2. Oh, man. I liked Home Alone 2 probably more than I liked the first one. Well. Oh, what a psycho. I right? know. I know. But anyways, I was really excited about that. That was Home Alone yeah. in New York, right? Yeah, Lost in New York. The only yeah, movie New that York. it's acceptable to like the second one more than the first one is Caddyshack. Maverick. Caddyshack. Caddyshack. What? Oh no! Like Caddyshack too. too oh, better? so much better. Dan what Aykroyd is asshole. fucking hilarious. Jackie oh, Mason being all Jewish and shit. <laughs> no, Caddyshack mm. Two sucks ass. Okay, it's, Thank it's one of the God. worst. No. Like I was, it is, I was like, how I, is this? It guy? is maybe the most disappointing follow up to a comedy of all time. It, it was so, so bad. horrible. Caddy, so fucking. The horrible. original Caddyshack wasn't even that good. So I don't know. Fuck what, you, fuck Scotty. you, sir. Shove it up your ass. Bill Murray. I, don't usually, I don't usually get to tell people to fuck off in their own home, yeah. but yeah. this is an exception. Hey, hang on. B- Bill Murray made that fucking movie. That was it. And he was a very minor character, but his... Uh, he was a huge part of the fucking film. No, he wasn't. He he was actually a later add-on when they were writing it. Watch the making of it, and you find out that they, uh, Bill Murray and Chevy Chase did not like each other, and so they had to film the offset in weird ways and stuff. It was a fucking mess. But uh, anyways, I just got a uh, text message from Jeremy Joseph saying can't talk right now. Not <laughs> after that. <laughs> Not after that. Not after that. Okay. Fair, fair enough. And uh, No, I'm going to say that might be – that's <laughs> Chevy Chase's second second funniest uh, movie. Yeah, maybe. Steve Peters just texted Fletch. me as well saying can't uh, talk right now. Ghostbusters. Yeah, man. Fletch was awesome. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, Chevy, Chevy Chase was great in Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Was it the yeah, he, when, when he was yeah. secretary. Yeah. 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 yeah that's, that's exactly what it was. That's what it was. That's exactly what it was. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Moving on. All right. A new term for when you're drunk and high at the same time. Dry. Oh, okay. Just dry. Yeah, that makes sense. I like it. My you wife's know, that like, a lot. Like a huge dehydrated <laughs> labia. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. My wife's that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 this is actually one from when we were in high school and college. Uh, we called it drunk.com. Hmm. Yeah. That was the code word for marijuana has been smoked. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, hobo laxin. <laughs> hobo laxin? Like uh-huh. that. Okay. That's pretty cute. Yeah. I like that That's one too. adorable. It sure is. Hobos are so cute. It's fucking adorable. Right. I, I like to throw breadcrumbs at them. Good. Uh, the like so, pigeons. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, Pigeons and chipmunks or whatever. <laughs> if you if you hold out a handful of nuts, they'll come and just stuff their cheeks. It's so adorable. It is. It's That's cute. awesome. It's yeah. cute. Oh yeah, but if you're paying them, it's it's the the other nuts. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Next question: Something that even a raccoon would not eat. A giant labia. <laughs> You're he's he's not wrong. No. Raccoons <laughs> raccoons don't like eating pussy. No, that's, they don't. That's a well that's a known well animal known. Fact. Yeah, uh, that I, is a trash panda history fact right there. Uh, what's what's the fucking guy's name? Uh, Marlon know. Perkins from uh, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom taught us that. Okay, that raccoons on they don't like eating pussy, well. and uh, they raccoons will not go down. <laughs> If you see a raccoon, keep your pants on. It's very important to keep your pants on. A raccoon will not go down on you. That's what he said. Well, that was uh, that was my low hanging fruit. I thought, but uh, not so much. You're so welcome. I'm, Can't talk right now. I'm going. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, say uh, coconut. It's never where they're mm-hmm. at. Yeah. So they would never eat it. It smells like shit and it's awful. So I'm going to go with that. Jeremy Domino's pizza. What? Domino's pizza sucks shit. <laughs> Even a fucking raccoon with his weird fucking paw hands would would turn that down. Oh, it'd be like know. you couldn't have even gotten Little Caesars, you cheap fuck. Yeah. Okay, fine. Next question. 
Here's some solid life advice. Never trust blank. Chinese gun parts? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. That's very true. Uh -huh. I, I bought a uh, a three to nine power Chinese made scope for my 22 rifle. And with every shot, the recoil knocks it out of, <laughs> off, out of sight. Because, uh, you know, the, the fucking rabid recoil <laughs> on a off 22. of a 22 rifle is just astounding. <laughs> <laughs> the way you, they go. <laughs> does it even do that? Oh, yeah. 22. Uh, uh, well, they're, I mean. They're always louder than what I remember. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But they're still not loud loud you should wear earplugs but you don't have to yeah this is uh this is a real one here's some solid life advice never trust giant labias <laughs> okay no never trust a fart yeah, never i don't know i mean you got to eventually sometimes but that's you have to that's also why i always carry an extra pair of underwear in my you truck put maxi pads back there no, don't you? No, yes you do i don't uh, extra pair of underwear just in mm. case just in case I would say never trust gas station sushi. That's valid. I think it is. That's valid. I think that's good. I think that's great. That's a what good idea. What about calamari? Oh, that you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. The roller grill. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. fine. Yeah. That's true. You're good yeah. there with the, the right next to the taquitos. The, yep. Yep. All right. They just they just roller grill whole uh, squids. Squids. Yeah. yeah. It'll be fine. Right. Yeah. It'll be yeah. Fun. Cut tentacles, off your own tentacles and all. Yep. Yeah. Five La pound. Last <laughs> one. The new band H.I.J. actually stands for blank. He is Jewish. Oh. Fuck! You suck so much right now. Mm. Highly intelligent Jews is what I had. Really? Yes, right there. Oh, you wrote it down. I uh, did. Okay. I can come up with something different here. Uh... Hate is Jewish. He is jacking off. Okay, there you go. Is it there weird we go. that we all went Jews from the <laughs> it day? Weird. It was weird. There's I, not a lot of J stuff that rhymes. I yeah. went Hitler is Jewish. Uh, oh, that would be pretty good. Turn, turns turns out, out what a turn that, of events. What an odd twist of fate that would be. It turns out he's Jewish. Oh, that's great. Oh, man. That's why he killed himself. A that's lot of right. people don't know that. It's true. He's right. like, fuck. That is true. In Ru rules are rules, dude. I mean, uh, yeah. In Argentina, though. That's the way it goes. Sure, he did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he made it. There it goes, these he, motherfuckers. He made it. All right. Well, that is questions and preguntas. Uh, again, if, if you do have any suggestions, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. Uh, by the way, um, I post a lot of videos on that, too. And so uh, if you don't like TikTok, you, you can go better. to Instagram because Instagram doesn't give a fuck what we share and they never take it down. Uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Draft King. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, fuck all of you guys for uh, not voting for me. That's bullshit. Uh, that's uh, what they were told uh, to do. Uh, they actually fucking listened. I know. That's mean. It's fucking mean. I yeah. had the best catchphrases out of everybody, even after I took out The Undertaker. You did not have better than yes. JP's. JP's were great. Why, didn't you, why did you vote more for me than for JP? JP's were excellent. I don't know this JP. I know. Um, but no, uh, thank you very much for those of you that voted. I did get second place, so that means that this week I get uh, I get the, the middle picks, which I'm totally fair and fine with. Mm -hmm. um, Jeremy won, so he gets the championship big picks. And uh, Steve is our guest, so he naturally gets the, uh, oh, gets the uh, first pick. This week's draft is going to be kind of ornery and kind of fruity. Uh, but we are going to do our favorite rom-coms for guys to watch. So uh, that just means romantic comedy, and we're going whatever uh, Google is uh, going with. So, yeah. Okay. So you get your first pick, dude. What you got? I got Hitch. Okay. All right. That's. I mean, that's fair. It's fucking legit, bro. I know. I, I but I'm still pissed off at Will Smith. He kind of he kind of carried up the, the the Oscars and shit. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I don't like him as a person. I know, and I think his wife's a total cunt. No, I like her. <laughs> but I thought oh, that uh, oh, got, you like you, she, you'd like her. She's dude, got a giant labia. If, if there was ever a great spokesperson for the lawnmower 4.0, <laughs> oh yeah, that's her. Um. Okay. <laughs> well, 
Uh, I'm going to go with uh, one that I probably could have picked way, way later, but I'm not. I'm going to ruin my my draft. But it's true. Uh, I'm going to go with The Proposal with Sandra Bullock. Dude, I loved that movie. Yeah. It was actually pretty fucking good. That yeah. was a, That's a good pick. It's a fun movie. It's that's got Betty pick. White in it. It's yeah. got my boy that everybody's going to go gay for. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah. Jeremy. Jeremy yeah. Joseph. No, no, Jeremy Joseph no. is the one guy everybody's going gay for. No, that's uh, that's not true. I didn't even know I did a movie. Yeah, but you don't have to. You were on some ambient. Sure. It was it was a surveillance video. Right. That's fine. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, but Jeremy, you get two back to back picks. <laughs> okay. So that's a little unfair. Yeah. M- my favorite, and I have to watch this every time that it's on, just mostly because the chick is so fucking hot. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's out of my league. Yeah, oh, dude. Fuck. Yeah, that's a good God one, dude. God damn it, that is that's such Goldie a That's Goldie Hawn's daughter. Oh, I love Jesus. her. Jesus. Yeah, she's badass. That one and is. She I don't think that's Goldie Hawn's daughter. That's, I think uh, it is. That's Kate that's Hudson. Kate, no, that's not Kate Hudson. That chick, oh. the, the chick who plays the hot chick in this movie is, to make her even hotter, is actually fucking Australian. Yeah, she is drop-dead gorgeous. Yes. Uh, oh, I can't I even hate, think of her name right now. I don't I even need to know you. her that name. I think of her as a person, a good, not a name. Such a good uh, pick. And I then, thought it was Goldie Hawn's daughter. No, that's uh, Kate Hudson. Yeah. yeah, I love her. Yeah, everybody does. I think it's because I really love Goldie high. Hawn so much. Yeah. You remember Still that, love Goldie Hawn. Remember that bathtub she, scene in Wildcats? Mm-hmm. Oh, She's yeah. She's fucking naked. Yeah, that, yeah. They used to just throw scenes like that into movies just for us. For the underage kids. Yeah, I just she, really liked Goldie. Like she was funny and she cute, was. and oh, oh, still is. I'm sure. In She's fact, getting all banged um, out by Kurt Russell. Okay, uh, my uh, I'm going with uh, chasing Amy. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, I hate you. I what? there's no way I thought you were gonna fucking pick that. Oh, really? I love look, that movie. Look I what feel I like he look what I fucking that. wrote down. He wrote chasing Amy, but oh, he lied. Really? You son of yeah. a. You son of a bitch. Oh, did you see my piece of paper? From no, I have my reading glasses on, so I can only oh, see this far in front of my face. You son of a bitch. Oh, I fucking hate you. Now I don't know. That's fine. <laughs> can't, oh. Sorry, I can't talk right now. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Okay, fine. If you're going to do that, I'm going to take there's something about Mary. Uh, okay. That wasn't even a good one. That was, too. That's a that was movie. fucking weird. Seven. Franks and Beans. Ass. Beans and Franks. Now, I will say, they could have wrote a little stronger ending. Yes, yeah. They could have. Uh, but still. It was just But they weird. didn't. Yeah. Okay, Steve, you get two in a row. Let me ask you this. Okay. Yeah. Would you guys consider Road Trip or Euro Trip a, a romantic comedy? Uh, um, wait, that's kind of weird trip? because there is... Love in there. There well, is road trip. The whole thing of that is no romance happens. Yeah, but the yeah. whole thing is he's it's trying to get to right. His, you know what I mean? Right. I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, I'm not going to go with that. It's, then, it's, if it's, it's if it's a, a it's question, a, it's a fine if line. If it's a question, I'm going to go with failure to launch. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. And then you get one more. Oh. Yeah. You shit. get back to backs here. Seems unfair. No, it doesn't. Uh, I am legend. Okay. There's, a, there's not even another. That's chick. not a comedy or. <laughs> it is a love between romantic. a man and his and dog. His dog. <laughs> he, that is a fucking romantic as, comedy. If I've ever seen one, he as, gets to kill zombies. No, yeah. it's not. He, he couldn't even bring himself to talk to a mannequin. Yeah. All right. All right. All what right. is it with scratch, you and Will Smith? Scratch that. Yeah. Scratch that. I'm going with uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Okay. okay. That's a better one. Yeah. That's a better one. <sighs> oh, my goodness. So it would not be a romantic comedy no. or the Goonies? That, I mean, it is a love story. Yeah. A clown eats people. Yeah. He goes down unlike a raccoon. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't believe you picked fucking Chasing Annie. That still pisses me off. Well, what I'm going to go ahead and pick. Asshole. One, honestly, one of my favorites of all time, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Okay. Yep. I, that is, that I is fucking, fucking legit. love that movie. That is legit. Yep. Uh, go ahead and go. You get two, Jeremy. Well, thank you, Steve, for giving me the idea. Overboard. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's Kurt a good Russell one. Goldie that Hawn. is a fucking good one, man. A re- and they just remade it, too. That, Did they really? It's probably, yeah. That one's probably yeah. shit. It is horrible. Okay. It is horrible. Just making sure. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, better Off Dead. Okay. Oh, dude. That's a, that's a fucking good one. 
the okay. fucking when Asian got, guys that talk like Howard Cosell. Yes, and then the kid that's like, I want my two dollars. <laughs> he's like, I don't even have a nickel. And he's like, I don't want a nickel. I want my two dollars. Uh, okay, right. and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the only uh, really good rom com out of uh, Adam Sandler, The Wedding Singer. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're wrong. There. No, no, I like I like The Wedding Singer, <laughs> and that that that's good. Yeah, I I think you're wrong with that because it's not. Okay, fine. Do you feel yeah. like The Other Guys is a rom com? No. Mm. The moral of the plot is a love story. Come on, man. Dude, Will Smith and fucking what's her face? Oh were God, uh, hot and heavy, yeah. and she's hot as shit. Uh, too. God damn it! What is her name? I don't uh, know. I wanted to say Sophia Vergara, no. Vergara but I know who, that's who wrong. Who is so hot in yeah. her own right? Yep. Um. um who? Uh, God damn it! Why can't God, I think what of her is fucking her name? name? There's okay. Uh, Ava Mendez. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, when he's like, she's a big old girl. Yeah, she she's a big old it. bitch. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, you get it. You get. Is two. that what you're gonna wear? I get. You two. look like a hobo. Yeah, yeah, you get two in a row. I'm going with Fifty First Dates. Yeah, that's a good one. And the Wedding Ringer. Uh, okay. It's a Kevin Hart movie that's actually pretty good. It might not be as. I, it was between that and Knocked Up. Oh. But uh, I just again, I can't put Knocked Up into a. As like a rom com, it, it is. is. So That's the whole fucking thing. Okay, fine. Then I guess he falls in love with a fat chick. Yeah, she's pregnant, but whatever. Oh, that chick is such a cunt too. In real What's life, her name? Or, uh, yeah, she's a cunt. I don't even know who it is in real life. Um, Kate Hudson. No, uh, no, no. She's a perfect angel. I don't. I can't remember who this chick is, but she's cunty. She's okay. very cunty. That's fair. Uh, what did I pick? Because of her huge labia. Wedding? Yeah, the the wedding ringer and wedding 50, ringer. Uh, I was gonna go with wedding singer, but I already got that. So oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I already picked Boy. that one. He wasn't here. He couldn't talk right now. Yeah, he mm-hmm. couldn't talk right now. Uh, so, so I've only got four, right? Uh, no, no, you I got, got five. five. You got five. Okay, you got five. We're done. And okay. then I'm gonna wrap up mine with a controversial one, but I'm gonna go with uh, the forty year old virgin. Okay, which is the no. I'm sorry. Uh, I was thinking this is 40 is the sequel to not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, unofficially. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Totally different actors and all that. I love Steve Carell. Uh, what's the one where uh, Seth Rogen and his wife live next door to the Oh, the make a porno. House. Something, something, make oh, a no. porno. house. No. Uh, um, neighbors? Oh, yeah, neighbors. Next yeah. door neighbors, something yeah, like that. Neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. That one's actually yeah. kind of rom com okay. yeah. yeah. I guess. Uh, Jeremy, last pick. How did Die this hard. Get, how did this make it through? Bull Durham. No, I, you can have it. Love Bull Durham. That's great. Yeah, no, no, no. Love, I love it. I love Bull Durham, but love I love it. I don't think I, that's a go-to for chicks. I, I don't either. It, no, it's this is rom coms for guys. I know. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Steve didn't know the whole subject. That's why he tried picking. I would have. Uh, I would have kept. I am legend. Then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd say yeah. I thought I'm actually kind of impressed of all of these. Uh, I mm-hmm. still pissed off that you took Chasing Amy. Overboard's great. Better Off Dead. I've never seen. Overboard's amazing. Bo- uh, oh yeah. If excellent. anybody has to vote, and that's a tiebreaker, fucking Jeremy deserves it. I mean, Overboard is the shit. And yeah. Better Off Dead. Are you fucking? kidding me? I've never me? seen Better Off Dead. Better Off. Are you oh, fucking no, out I've of your never, mind? Never that, Better Off Dead that is, is the, the most amazing eighties movie. That is the beautiful. quintessential eighties comedy. Is beautiful. Um, it's amazing. I thought of a couple of Bull them, Durham, but fucks I, him completely on this. But deal. I couldn't just. Bull Durham is fucking great. It's Horrible. No, it's awful. It is absolutely awful. That's the worst Kevin Costner movie. That's the only ever reason that he wouldn't the win the is because people would be like, oh, woman's back and, hang her and she was ugly. I never was attracted to that woman ever, ever, ever. I yeah, like I, I don't care for her, but I, it was more later in life that I stopped caring for her. Okay, well, yeah. I didn't ever think that she was attractive. But but uh, as far as a couple of the ones that I was thinking of, I was going to go with the, like Accepted, but I think that was more more comedy than it was yeah, a love story. So I was like, ah, more, not yeah, can't go that right. route. But uh, a great movie. Um, one of uh, Jack Nicholas's favorites, one that he ever did, was As Good As It Gets. I, I love that movie a lot. Anger Management was pretty fucking uh, funny, kind, too. Kind of. And it's pretty rom com I don't think so. I think that's, that's really? more... Yeah, that's more comedy than anything. The only Which time... One? What about Billy Madison? 
Billy Madison again. It's at the end of the movies. Whenever that they the fly. whole fucking movie, he's trying to bang Miss Vaughn. No, he's not. He's trying to graduate from high school. Dude, he might be trying to graduate high I, school. I think the rom com has to, to have, have a, a somewhat yeah. realistic plot line. Yes, not Billy Madison going back sure. to school. school. And, you know, we all get to chance to for two weeks at each grade. Exactly. Yeah, then you're to gonna own be, a hotel chain. Okay. Exactly. Put it this way. I'll what about old school? How about old happy, school? Happy Gilmore. If you're gonna go with Billy Madison, Happy okay, so, Gilmore was a phenomenal love story. That is a bunch. It was amazing. Of, I fucking. That hate was you right a now. phenomenal oh. love story. Like actual movies that friends can listen. Endless love in the dark. Love in the dark. All the fucking John Hughes movies are up there. I mean, 16 Candles. Oh, uh, no, yeah, I couldn't do it. For sure. That's too much. Weird Science. I almost uh, Science was amazing. I, that's a Pink. Uh, uh, St. Elmo's song. Fire. That uh, wasn't a John Hughes, but it was all the Brat Pack. I almost picked uh, Big. Is uh, That's one that I think is, is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, where that, that chick a pedophile fucks a 10-year-old. <laughs> yeah, that was a Unknowingly that was, fucks a 10-year-old. You know what that where was? Where the catcher's mid on. That was that was teachers now. <laughs> yeah. it, was for, it was just foreseeing what, yeah. like, Educators. That is so be. great when he, she turns the light Female off. Female teachers turns <laughs> the light back on. Yeah, <laughs> like click. Mm-hmm. And yeah, she's in her bra. Yeah. All right. Well, then again, guys, you can vote for what you think is the best uh, rom com list for guys to watch. Uh, that'll be on facebookcom slash laughing on the sidelines. Oh, what's the say yeah. anything? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, yeah. A pretty good. that's good. That's a pretty good one. That's uh, got maybe the mo- one of the most iconic scenes out of any movie, that dude. Actually, uh, Uncle Buck is a pretty good one, and The Great Outdoors actually has a lot of like rom com stuff in it, too. Yeah, but that's not the main... I, I, it kind of is, because Uncle they're Buck there is not. for the you, summer. You need, and they, you need to look... I'm, okay, you need to look up what rom-com is. I'm surprised you didn't put Broke Mac Mountain on your fucking list. That God is a damn good it, one. that's the one <laughs> I should have put. It's not that funny. It's really not that funny. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty not. funny they tried. when Heath they Ledger tried. was going they, in dry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they tried. I mean... That, that was like they were going for comedy with that scene. Mm-hmm. There were supposed to be whoopee whistles. <laughs> in that. When he said, uh, I just can't quit you, I right. laughed my ass <laughs> off at that. I thought it was great. I and, know. I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote by clicking on your on the corresponding emo- emoji for these lists. And whoever wins gets a pat on the back. Uh, but now we get to move on to my I favorite parts. I was told parts. it would be a blowjob. Nope. Uh, well, then why is it a romantic comedy? I don't know. Who cares? Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines Shitty Situation of the Week, brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, on April that 24th... Fanger Bang Beer tastes fishy. It, no, you're not saying it right. Fanger Bang. Fanger it's bang. exotic, oh. Scott. It's, it's exotic. It, it, come on now. Yeah. Anyways. So short. Fanger Bang, that's cheap beer. That's that's malt liquor, yeah, basically. pretty much. Uh, let's see. I on like uh, April 24th, uh, 2013, there was a power outage in the Dhaka district of Bangladesh, which uh, triggered the emergency diesel generators to kick on at the Dhaka Garment Factory. I know uh, it well. This started a lot of uh, heavy vibrations uh, in what was a very poorly constructed building. It was an eight-story building and uh, was built on a filled-in, still wet pond. Oh, no, um, no way. That's awesome. That really is. I mean, remember what I said earlier about foundations? Yeah. Fuck them. Um, <laughs> Approximately, uh, this uh, this caused uh, the whole fucking building to collapse. Uh, approximately uh, 3,100 workers were in the building that day, and uh, sadly, 1,134 of them never made it back out. Uh, another 2,500 of them were severely injured. And as you can imagine, in a garment factory in Bangladesh, <laughs> you know they were all of age. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. Seven. So now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, I'm feeling those good vibrations. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is Would You Rather Text Your Ex and Say Shit. Can't Talk Right Now or 
text your boss and say, I can't talk right now. This is a little off topic, but I just texted my friend again that said, sir, <laughs> I said I can't talk right now. <laughs> I have sure. <laughs> During the break, my friend Gabe texted me back and said, on my way. So... Uh, <laughs> Happy about that. No. Hope he knows how to get here. I gave him your address. Hope you don't mind, Scotty. I'll probably be gone by the time he gets here. Yeah, that's fine. Who do we who do we have to not text? It's either our, would you rather have to text your ex girlfriend or whatever, spouse, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't talk right now. Or text your boss, I can't talk right now. I mean, if you text the ex, you might get like a nude or something out of the deal. I don't so. know about that. Hey, that ain't talking. Yeah, nope. so I think I think that'd be the more fun one. That's, that's what I want. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm texting the ex. Me too. I'm texting the ex. Uh, be, because the boss, you could get fired. That has implications for the future of your well being. If that motherfucker fires you because you <laughs> just texted, sorry, I can't talk right now. You need to beat his ass I mean, honestly, immediately. You're working. Yeah. yeah. Why, why, why would you yeah. be able to talk Shut right now? Shut the fuck up right. and leave me alone. Leave I've me got working. work to do, sir. But no, the ex, the ex you're fucking with, and I think that's a lot more fun, at least mentally in my state. So I'm going to go with the ex. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, ex, no, uh, I'm not going with, with this. <laughs> I don't know why I said no to start with because it was not a yes or no question. And yet I, I, I answered it in the very strong negative. Will not be happening. Uh, yeah. Now, my boss gets texts constantly throughout the day. It's how his boss communicates with him. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, he is, anytime I have a face to face conversation with him, I will be interrupted at least six, seven times in two minutes because he's getting texts. So he will be just inundated and be like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that, um, if I text my ex who I have not spoken to in 30 minutes, six years now, <laughs> and would like to continue that, if I text her saying can't talk right now, she's going to think that I want to. <laughs> and um, that That's would open up do. a line of communication yeah. that I just don't want to. <laughs> yeah, ever but you have might get some nudes again. And so, um, yeah, I don't want those. <laughs> I, I don't no, either. We're, we're yeah. talking about my my ex wife, uh, who we had to communicate because there was a child involved. And once he graduated, uh, one of my exes had great new boobs. Longer. I wouldn't yeah. mind a couple. You know, Jesus a little, yeah, Christ, it was good. Is good. Well, uh, uh, can I text your ex? And tell her <laughs> yeah, no, right now? Free, okay. feel free. I'll sure. give everybody I, your number. More, it's fine. More than happy to do that. In fact, give it to our listeners. It's yeah. 316 no, nine, nine, no. No, no, no. Sorry. No. no. That's Scotty. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that, Sorry. Yeah, right. Sorry. Oh, shit. Well, uh, guys, I'm, I can't talk right now. Just go I can't to talk a truck anymore. stop. You'll uh, find uh, the you number know? on the wall. That's uh, what you said. No. No. <laughs> yeah, no. That's how we do it. No. Well, son of a bitch, guys. Uh, no, excellent episode, it. as usual. Thank you guys for listening. We would really appreciate Steve standing in for Derek. The- that motherfucker. Uh, yeah. The- what a little traitor. He I, never is here anymore. I, well, I just don't understand. He's, he's at baseball games he's right been, now. He's been banned from the premises. Yeah. Uh, he, no, he should oh, be Oh, the PFA sh- you filed against him because right. he grabbed your leg too hard. No, because he broke my fucking water main. That's why. Oh, that oh did true. he do that? That's yeah. a fucking good one. I'm going to have to text him later. <laughs> no, I, shit. When I can talk one. later, yeah. uh, I'm going to have to text him and yeah. let him know yeah, that you, I thought yeah. that was pretty you good. You think that your house randomly flooded three times or four times? And it, it was all like, Derek. It was all Derek. Oh, Just yeah. Him Just with pitchers of water. He's, right. like, uh, he's like an arsonist, but with water. Yeah, he's, yes. the, he's the wet bandits. It's just, really it's, is. Yeah, he's just, that's by himself. That's yeah, him. that's yeah. true. He's the wet bandit. Yeah, bandit, that's right. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, All right. guys. He's the half ass wet bandit. Yeah, half ass <laughs> wet bandit. That's right. <laughs> he eats a lot of pizza. There are still tickets available for the live show October 22nd at Vorshay's Lounge. Do check out Steve if you are uh, here in Wichita. Do the it. Almost yeah. Weight Show we, with Steve Peters and Levi got, May. You got a big act coming to Vorshay's later this week. We yes, do. Yeah. This week we have Dusty Slay. We are all. We have 20 tickets left to that show. Yeah. If you have not seen Dusty Slay, I've seen, I actually have worked with him one time. I opened up for him. Uh, he is you were his fucking fluffer. hilarious. I was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was him and all the guys in Thin Lizzy. I, I nice. fluffed for him. Nice. Uh, you know, boys are back in town. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Anyways, uh, no, I highly recommend anybody if you He's get very the funny. opportunity. If you don't have your tickets, get out and get them. Sounds like there's uh, they're running short. Go to VorshaysComedy.com. It's not just Dusty Slay. Here's what's fucking crazy. Who's, who's coming we have right? Dusty Slay this month on August 18th. We have John Caparulo, I'm September be at that 21st. One. Yep. That we have one. Jeff Leeson, who I've become friends with. I love this guy. He's amazing. He's from You're Canada. You're not going to be there for He's that. funny as fuck. I'm not here for any of them. Oh. Uh, and then December 15th, we have Chris Porter. The singer? No, the man from Kansas special on uh, HBO or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's Chris Porter. Yeah, 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 Chris yeah. Porter. Uh, no, thanks. That's go the to Vorshay's, Vorshay's Comedy.com. We'll take you to all of the ticket links. Absolutely. And including then the ours. Almost Late Show. Will, yeah, including, including yours. Including ours. Yeah, yeah. October 22nd. It is. Laughing on it the is. sidelines yep. live. Yep. yep. Can Isn't I it? bring my dog? Yeah, yeah of course. Maybe We're very dog person. friendly. We had two sure. possums in there last night. Nice. I probably won't. My wife might. Okay. Okay. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for doing everything that you are doing, letting other people know about the show. That's how it grows. Uh, we sincerely do appreciate all of you that are following us on mm -hmm. TikTok and sharing those TikToks. Uh, we, yeah, that's how it grows as well there, too. So uh, without further ado, we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. And if you don't like us... I hope all the neighborhood cats start shitting in your flower planters. <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time... Pizza, pizza. <laughs> until next time... Avoid the Laughing, asshole. <laughs> we will see y'all later. Take care. Yay! Wednesday! <laughs>